Famed investor Jeremy Grantham has a call that's drawing a lot of attention. He's predicting a collapse in stocks, and he says it's underway. The Fed won't be able to save us from this one, in his opinion. This is some pretty interesting stuff. Bloomberg News editor-at-large Eric Schechter joins us now. Uh, Eric, let's talk about uh, first Mr. Grantham's track record as a bubble caller. Well, Jeremy Grantham has a pretty darn good track record as a bubble caller. He is, as you know, a value investing legend. He's been in the markets for 50 years and calling bubbles for almost as long. He called the great Japanese stock and real estate bubble back in the late 80s. He called the tech bust in 1999-2000. And he was onto the housing bubble here in the United States before the financial crisis of 2008. So his track record is awfully good and he says this bubble what he describes as a super bubble is only one of four the united states has seen in the past century it is a multi-sigma deviation from trend that's a statistical term he says it comes around exceedingly rarely and when it does the patterns are unmistakable and the inevitable result is as you say a crash Okay, so that's some uh, pretty pretty tough medicine to hear, and the track record obviously is there. Let's talk about some of the scenarios that he's mapping out here. Well, uh, again, I'm going to use some statistical terms, but if you look if you look at a plot of the S and P 500 over time, and then do what's called a regression analysis, you'll see that there's a trend line. And the trend line comes in way below where we are right now, even after the sell-off of the past few days. And I think it's worth listening to Jeremy Grantham in his own words, Greg. I think you have an excerpt of an interview I did with him queued up, because if you think back to where the S&P 500 was at its peak in November, roughly 4,800 points, this is where he says it's going to go. Trend line being slightly generous is 2,500. And most of the great bubbles, the super bubbles, go below trend and stay there for quite a while. Uh, in the Greenspan era, that tendency stopped. In 2000, yes, the Nasdaq came down 82%, which was fairly brutal. Amazon came down 92 But the Federal Reserve raced to the rescue so loudly and strongly that they stopped the decline in the S&P at trend line. It only declined 50%. 50% is a hell of a big decline, uh, but it was only enough to get it back then to trend. This time trend is at most 2,500. And I would expect, even if the Federal Reserve tries to do the same, it will be hard to prevent the market from declining to that level. Greg, two things to add right there. The first is that if the S&P 500 actually drops to that 2,500 trend line level, it would be a peak to trough decline of 48%, so roughly at that 50% marker that he was talking about. But the second more important thing to talk about right now is what he had to say about the Federal Reserve. He has been steadily critical of Fed policy for many, many years. He says that going back to Alan Greenspan, the Fed is guilty of inflating these bubbles, including the super bubble we're in right now. But successively, starting with Greenspan, cutting rates when the markets fell out of bed and, and then subsequently Bernanke, Yellen and Powell, there's been this implied put. People could count on some kind of a Fed rescue. Now that we live in inflationary times, the Fed's hands are cuffed by injecting more liquidity into the market with quantitative easing, say, it would just be pouring gasoline on the inflation fire. And that, as we both know, is something the Fed cannot do. All right, so it seems like everyone's in a very tight spot, uh, according to Mr. Grantham's call. There's always skeptics, though, Eric. I mean, what's the skeptical view on his take? Well, I'll give you two. The first is he made the bubble call first a year ago. And as everybody knows, the S&P 500 went up 27% last year, or almost 27%. He says, in fact, what was going on underneath the surface validates his point, and stocks have been selling off since November. And so while it did take a few months for this to start to build, he thinks we're firmly in sell-off territory already. However, there is another skeptical note to add, which is that as a value investor, a value investor, as you know, loves cheap stocks, he has been stuck to a strategy that really hasn't worked for about 12 years. And those 
who follow Jeremy Grantham's value investing advice since the financial crisis are way behind the rest of the market. And so that invites some skepticism as well. If Jeremy Grantham is such a sage, how has he been wrong for all these years? Grantham would counter that, yes, value has been out of favor. But if you listen to his advice, after this crash is finished, you'll end up well ahead of where the speculators are.